All right, here's one for the uh, electronics guys. Um, and uh, I follow along on these uh, forums, the different projects and the different discussions on on uh, different projects. And uh, it's interesting. It's part of this hobby that I enjoy doing, this electronics and uh, motor thing that I'm um, involved with. But uh, anyway, there's a discussion about the jewel thief and the... the the situation in residence of coils in a jewel thief and what goes on in a jewel thief and I've been following along and it's very interesting to hear the discussion about what happens in a jewel thief and uh, from the people that really know what's going on and so I, I wanted to fiddle around a little bit with this and this is a steel wire jewel thief uh, blocking oscillator and uh, my penny oscillator circuit if you've uh, looked at that ever uh, uses steel wire and this is a steel wire situation with a magnet between it, basically just to hold it together. And then the little uh, penny oscillator circuit that's a blocking oscillator with two capacitors, uh, an electrolytic and a regular um, ceramic uh, capacitor. It's an MPS A18, um, A18, A813 NPN transistor, a little LED, a 10 meg pot. And then one of these little uh, solar garden light, um, I mean solar waving toy, solar panel for my power source. But what I wanted to show here was this. This is an antenna tuner that I made up for my uh, uh, crystal radio and uh, AM radio project. And uh, what it does is it, uh, it tunes in the signal using a tank circuit. This is a picofarad uh, variable capacitor and Litz wire coil in parallel and when you tune this and inductively link it to the input um, receiver coil on a, on a radio you can enhance the signal uh, strength and it works on this and I thought I would show this and uh, I'm sure there's a, a bunch of people that are going to kind of shake their head but to me it was interesting um, here's the real radio so you can hear it because you really can't see it in the blink but this is the oscillator running. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune this and that's going to affect the oscillator coils here. Let's see if you can hear this or not. Anyway, I thought that was very interesting, and what I don't know is if I'm actually enhancing the oscillator with uh, an input signal from the air, or if all I'm doing is making these coils go into a better um, um, a coupling arrangement. I don't know, but I, th I thought that was interesting when I set that thing up today, and I thought I might share that with uh, some of the guys that follow my work. Um, a lot of them uh, shake their head at what I do, but I thought this was pretty interesting that you could take an antenna tuner uh, for radio and inductively couple it to a jewel thief. Um, anyway, a blocking oscillator. Anyway, I just thought I would share that. Uh, uh, thanks for all the uh, people that watch my videos and for all the people on the forums that build these projects and then talk about them because guys like me listen and we learn from your discussions. Thanks a lot.